Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. The topic we are going to discuss today is probiotics and prebiotics. I am sure you all are familiar with these words. This is well known fact that our body is a home for trillions of microorganisms and most of them are bacteria. Our gut also harbors the billions of bacteria which comprises around thousand different species which cover lining of our gut. It is said that you are what you eat or more accurately you are what you feed those little creatures live in your gut. So what does healthy microbes do to your body? These bacteria play very important role in our overall health. It gives us good digestive system. It gives us healthy body by giving us powerful immunity. It improves our skin texture. It decreases antibiotic resistance. It gives us healthy mind which can fight with depression. It also helps us to behave. It protects us from food allergies. It helps us in production of vitamin K and short chain fatty acids and it also helps us in weight management. But there are some factors that affect our gut health. What are these? Too much consumption of alcohol, overuse of antibiotics, smoking, poor sleep, stress and lack of exercise, GMO foods and unhealthy fats, tap water with chlorine and fluoride and overconsumption of tea, coffee and sugar can lead to bad gut health. So maintenance of gut microflora is really essential. There are two ways to maintain this balance. First by taking probiotic and second by consuming prebiotic. Now what is probiotic? Probiotics are food items that contain healthy, specific and different types of live bacteria that increase the gut microbe population. By consuming probiotics, we add living microbes directly to our system. Always remember, disturbance in gut microflora leads to bad gut health. Lactobacillus, Lactococcus, Propionibacterium, Streptococcus thermophilus, Bifidobacterium and Bulgaricus are some of the bacterial species which are present in probiotics. Four items that contain good amount of probiotics are aged cheese, bitter chocolate, kefir, sour cream, miso soup, pickles, probiotic milk or buttermilk and yogurt. Yogurt and kimchi are two food items which are widely used as a probiotic. Apart from food items, there are several probiotic supplements available in the market which you can take to fulfill probiotic need. It contains live organism. These supplements may contain single species or mix of different bacterial species. Probiotic supplements can be in form of pill, powder or liquid. Person who has condition like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and who is allergic to certain substances should not take probiotics. Benefits of probiotics depends on strain used and type of formula. And now what is prebiotic? There are microbes in our gut but they need food to survive. So what is the food material they need for survival and for growth? Plant fiber present in several food items act like fertilizer and stimulate the growth of healthy bacteria in our gut. These plant fibers cannot be digested by our body. When prebiotic fiber arrives in small intestine, it begins to ferment and this fermented material consumed by bacteria and it support their growth. Some of the prebiotic food items are unripe banana, asparagus, garlic, oats, nuts, legumes, onion, artichoke and leek. These are some of the tremendous prebiotic food items which are high in complex carbohydrates and prebiotic fibers. Now you know what is prebiotic and what is probiotic. Let's see what is the difference between them. Probiotics are sensitive to heat, prebiotics are resistant to heat. Probiotics are sensitive to stomach acid, prebiotics are resistant to stomach acid. Probiotics are live bacteria and prebiotics are plant fibers. Probiotics in high doses may cause blotting, headaches and rarely may also cause infection in person with suppressed immune system. 
Prebiotics may cause digestive stress in person with gastrointestinal disorders. So this was all about prebiotics and probiotics. Thank you for watching.